<laughs> oh, I don't know. He's been out every night this week. I dread to think what it's doing to his bank balance. He's got to get a new TV license soon, and I just know he'll forget. He could pay by direct debit. Then he won't have to worry about the threat of a court appearance and a fine of up to a thousand pounds. Oh no, I feel for that mattress, I really do. TV licensing. Easier to pay, harder to avoid. If you get into trouble in another country, the British consul can get you legal help, but end up in jail, they can't get you out. Another country's laws and you become a criminal, not a tourist. Stay legal abroad. 20 years on, the biggest stars of the 1986 World Cup meet again when Lineker met Maradona here on BBC One in 40 minutes. Now on the sign zone, investigating Labour's foreign criminal crisis. It's Panorama here on BBC One. And there's Buster Keaton, risking life and limb. A joy to watch, a man of ingenious gags. Strike a light, it's Charlie Chaplin. Long and Hardy doing their own stunts. And Harold Lloyd, he really is that high. Of course, I'd love to be doing this sort of comedy, but uh, just can't get the insurance these days. Join me in celebrating the world's funniest men. Paul Merton's Silent Clowns, Thursday at 9 on BBC4. It's ever so nice and peaceful up here, Joe. Nice view, too. Ah, very nice, Petunia. And look at that nice little boat. He's having a lot of fun out there in his little dingy. That's what they call him, you know, sailing dingy. Are they nice people at our hotel, Joe? <laughs> hey, hello. Now he's splicing his main brace. <laughs> Though I don't think the man on table number six is very nice. Hey, do you think he's in trouble, Petunia? Oh, no, Joe. He's just enjoying himself on holiday. Oh, he's decided to have a swim. Now he's going to climb back again. I expect that water's a bit cold, don't you? Oh, oh, he's changed his mind. Now he's waving to us. Go away! I can't say I recognise him, though. Well, he must know us. Maybe it's the gent on table number six. No, it's not him. He's much... Oh, now he's shouting. A lovely day, isn't it? Help! Help! Dial 999 and ask for the Coast Guard! I can't hear a word he's saying, you know. Help! Dial 999 and ask for the Coast Guard. Well, I never. If you see a boat you think may be in distress, dial 999 and ask for the Coast Guard. Forbidden Love in the summer of 86 from the Booker Prize winning novel The Line of Beauty continues here on BBC One in an hour. Beginning tonight, Sign Zone, first on BBC One, Betrayal at Holby City. thermostat by one degree could save you up to 10% off your heating bill. Save energy, money and the environment. Call 0800 512 012.
In most homes, lighting accounts for up to 15% of the electricity bill. Save energy, money and the environment. Call 0800 512 012. This is a smoke alarm. It uses ionization technology to detect the smallest traces of smoke. It has an 85 decibel alarm. It conforms to British Standard 5446. It comes with a five-year warranty. This is James. He took the battery out of the smoke alarm because it kept going off. For more advice, visit firekills.gov.uk. The search is on to find a new priest for a seaside parish here on BBC One in half an hour. Things are rarely what they seem. Sorry, but it has to stop. You can see how upset she is. There's always another side to the story. He said he was in the area. First, I thought it was another woman, but I don't think it's a woman. Synchronicity. New drama tomorrow at 10 on BBC Three. If you give blood, it's more than likely you're closer to the person who's receiving it than you think. There's a theory called the six degrees of separation. This states you could be connected to anyone else on the planet through a chain of no more than five other people. Why not give blood? You never know whose life you might save. Do something amazing. Give blood. Through the night, now on BBC One, BBC News 24. The memory experience continues with Sharpen Your Memory. A series of discussions exploring how the things you remember make you the person you are. And how to make your memory work harder for longer. Join Mariella Frostrup on Wednesday morning at 9. BBC Radio 4. Keep an open mind. Well, you've certainly got the skills, and if you join us, we'll take those to the next level. Is there anything else you think I should know? Well, I should probably tell you that I have a history of depression, but it's nothing that I... Well, no. good, good. Excellent. <laughs> uh, we're ten floors up here. Is that going to be OK? Uh, obviously, we won't see you next to a window. <laughs> Mm. But honestly, don't worry, yeah. We're all a bit mad here. <laughs> really, it's fine. I can cope with everything. I've actually got a nut allergy. Mm. No nuts allowed in the building. Present company accepted, obviously. This man has a problem, but he and many others like him can get help. For a better understanding of mental health issues, visit direct.gov.uk forward slash mental health. Red car. Red car. Blue car. Teach your Blue child car. about colours. One car. One car. Two car. Teach your child to count. Stop. Eh? Teach your child to spell. Okay. Stop. Stop. Good. But don't forget to teach your child about road safety. Think. The time to teach them is now. Whatever you pack for your trip to Europe, make sure it includes a European Health Insurance card. It'll cover all or most of the costs of a medical emergency in Europe, so you don't have to worry about it. It's always advisable to take out travel insurance, Morning. but make sure all the family have a free European Health Insurance card. Apply now, online, by phone or post. For information, call 020 7210 4850 or visit the website. Want to watch tonight? Lady, it'll be quick. I'm a good shot. Stay right here for Robin Hood's next on BBC One.
two nations. One land. From Steven Spielberg. Brand new drama. Into the West. Tonight at 9 on BBC Two. A sparkler that's gone out is still hot enough to burn a child, so put it in a bucket of water. Not the child, the sparkler. Sparklers, handle with care. 25 years, 14, a minimum of 18. All found guilty beyond reasonable doubt. It's about failures in the process. The Criminal Cases Review Commission was set up to deal with alleged miscarriages of justice. It's about cracks in the system. I have this guy who's sitting in prison for a murder he didn't commit. It's about us. So what are you prepared to do about it? Putting it right when the law gets it wrong. The Innocence Project. New drama. Thursday at 8 on BBC One. Explosive new drama, The State Within, continues Thursday at 9. And he needs fireworks now on BBC One. The Sheriff has a short fuse. Every year, 9,000 prisoners apply for parole. I've been in jail longer than Nelson Mandela. I've done longer than any IRA terrorist. I don't want to get to the stage where I'm scared to get out. I do think, am I prepared to have this person having a pint next to me? Give me a chance to go with the people who I love. I won't let them down. Our only job is to assess risk. You start feeling sorry for people. That is lethal. A new series gains unprecedented access into Britain's parole system. Lock them up or let them out. Tomorrow at 9 on BBC Two. Planet's ice worlds are the largest and most demanding wildernesses of all. The journey continues. Planet Earth, as you've never seen it before. Tonight at 9 on BBC One. When I was 14, all I could think about was boys and makeup. <laughs> Now I spend hours putting it on. Get up close and personal with African elephants in the natural world at ten past six. Now, a quest for an elusive creature as BBC Two journeys to the end of the earth. Join BBC Four as we celebrate the force that is British science fiction. We explore a very British view of the universe. We were the original source of science fiction. And bring John Wyndham's random quest to life. Although we've never met before, we know each other very well. So settle back with the very best of British science fiction. Maximum power. Science Fiction Britannia. The season starts on the 13th of November, only on BBC Four. The last item is the silhouette frame pig, dated 1825. It's all about image with her. She has to have the latest everything without a glance at the price. And then she moans about the hassle of buying a TV licence. If she paid for it bit by bit each month with direct debit, then she wouldn't have to think about it at all. She's risking a court appearance and a fine of up to £1,000. I hate to think what that would do for her image. TV licensing. Easier to pay, harder to avoid. <laughs> 